say it definitely takes that pressure off having a bikini bod. <laughs> I'm Chrissy. And I'm Jessica. We are Chase Buds! We're hitting the road visiting our favorite cities across the country. And we're going to meet up with some new buds who help us uncover even more hidden gems each city has to offer. Let's go! Oregon, one of our favorite cities in the nation. There's so many super special, unique little places in the city, and we cannot wait to get exploring. Also meeting up with our newest bud, Morgan Stone Greether of the famous Instameets. But first, we're gonna check out a magical little resort that I have been dying to show you. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Let's hit it. Let's go. Today, I'm taking you to a place I love called the Edgefield. Fantastic. It's a former farm and they convert it into, it like, it's like a mini resort. And we get to go get a tour from the general manager. Fabu. <laughs> Fabu caught me off guard. <laughs> Let's use this bad boy and park. <laughs> Welcome to Edgefield. Um, in case you don't know, we are one of Oregon's most unique destination resorts. We're only 20 minutes outside Portland. We have a distillery, a brewery, a winery, a golf course. We do national act concerts here, all sorts of beautiful grounds, and we'll get a chance to see most of that today. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> it's just sort of such a chill, yeah. like warm, welcoming place. This is Ruby Spa. It's a saltwater pool. It's about 102 degrees. Steam there... is coming off of I know. It. A lot of the people that use the spa, they'll come here before or after a massage as well. Yeah, I would be very into that. You'll have to come back later. <laughs> we just go dive in right now. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> This okay. is the distillery bar. The distillery is right behind us. So we make about 14, 15 different types of distilled products here. You've been here a while, right? About 21 years. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. You must love it here because you've been here so I long. do. It's an incredible place. I'm very, very lucky. This is our edible garden. And this is Mary. Hi. Hi. She's going to be pl uh, planting some Cascade snap peas today, right? Yes. And you guys I are going to help. You guys are putting us to work. I know. <laughs> No spa for you. <laughs> These are those yummy, tasty ones where you get to eat the shell. That's actually one of my top them. snacks. America's next top snack. <laughs> so, what did you think? Hated it. Never did it. <laughs> this is the worst place I've ever yeah, been. Yeah, it's pretty miserable. I get it. <laughs> well, now you have something for me, right? I've got a lot to live up to, but I think you'll like it. You want to see? I bet I will love it. So we're leaving the Edgefield, heading back into Portland, and I'm taking you to a vintage store that is located inside of a double-decker bus. The bus is parked in a commune of other mobile vendors. I'm ready to do some shopping. Jess, here we are, one of my favorite destinations in all of Portland, Lodeca. We have a mission. Mm -hmm. We need to get some dresses for tonight. Yes, and we're gonna meet Nicole, who is the cutest gal in town. Hi, hey. ladies! Hi. Hi. Welcome to Lodeca. Oh, hey. Thank you for having us. Okay. Nicole, yeah. AKA Portland fashion icon. Oh my gosh, you look like <laughs> a dream. Thank you. Can you tell us about this amazing store we're standing in front of? Yeah. This is um, a double decker bus. Obviously, it was made in London in 1965, wow. and it was used for a hockey team, actually, for a little while. And then it just landed in a junkyard, and we bought it, and fixed it up, and now it's here. The it's natural so thing that wonderful. anyone would think to do to fill it with vintage dresses. <laughs> yeah, and that's the fun part for me. I love picking things out, finding treasures so that it can just live on and not just become trash. Let's go inside. Okay. okay. I'm not afraid of like a children's, co like a sexy baby. <laughs> Nicole, what is this? Yes, this is an early oh. 1900s <laughs> swimsuit. Gosh. Yeah, women would wear this and go swimming. It's a conversation piece. <laughs> a conversation being, that lady's crazy. <laughs> I love it's it so great much. Idea. If it's your really It's like yeah. cozy, comfy. Like, hello, nurse. Oh, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> now I'm blushing. Guys, I think I'm ready for the party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Too fabulous. <laughs> it definitely takes that pressure off having a bikini bod. It's true. <laughs> I'm going to have to be like, men. <laughs> I feel like a 
<laughs> like a court jester, or like, <laughs> come to the ball. You guys are so bright and This cheery. actually works well together. So many. A bunch of, so a many, bunch of high fives. So many dwarves high fives. Uh, <laughs> should we head down? Yeah, let's do okay. it. So we're meeting up with Morgan Stone Griefer. And we get to go to an amazing historic restaurant here, b mm -hmm. with an incredible menu. So we're gonna eat delicious food, meet a bunch of lovely Portlanders. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. <laughs> hello! Hello! hello. You're looking at all these cameras. Are you oh. like a photographer or something? Yeah. Like Is there any chance <laughs> you like to take photos? I do. I've been doing it my whole life and love it. Yeah. You have picked a location for us, and this is a place you love and know. He saws. I love to come here. It's old Portland, you know. I'm so excited. Should we go do it? Let's go do Let's it. Do it. Let's do it. Here we are at Bisaws, one of my favorite restaurants in Portland. We have heard so much about this place. Everywhere we've been in Portland, when yes. we told them that we're coming here, People it's been, oh. <laughs> we just celebrated our 111th anniversary. Oh my gosh. Yes. Amazing yeah. moisturizer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good. So it's very American comfort food. It's you know got a little bit of traditional. We have really incredible relationships with all of our farmers, and we're able to source everything so close. I saw a little garden outside. Yeah, we have a full garden where we have 22 raised garden beds that we're able to use year round. So we feel so lucky that we're such a neighborhood mainstay. Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> oh man, Portland was so fun. I had the best time here. It was a real party. And guess where we're going next? Austin! And these taste buds are meeting a new bud. <gasps> Emily Blinko. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. 